Do you have that Chablis Grand Cru that I bought the last time? It's always out of stock. I've been coming in for two weeks and it's out of stock. Well, that's a good thing that it's out of stock. What do you mean it's a, it's a good thing? Everything I come in for is always out of stock. Why would that be a good thing? And I'll tell you why. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I'm a certified level two sommelier and a senior wine and spirit specialist here at ABC Fine Wines and Spirits in North Miami Beach, Florida. Now, remember that wine I reviewed last week from Bordeaux? It's called the Prima. I've got it right behind me here in the Bordeaux section. Remember the Prima, if you've read my review, 100% Merlot? The reason they call it the Prima is because they don't make it, they don't even release any if it's a bad year, if the vintage is bad. 2013, they made none. So it's going to be out of stock for a long time. We have the 14 now, but in 13 was a bad year, so they didn't make any. Okay? So could you imagine any of the wines that you buy, the popular brands, I don't care if it's $5 or it's $5,000 a bottle, what you see on most restaurant wine lists, what you see in large retailers, when you see in most restaurants, all those brands, the Napa Valley wine, could you imagine any of them saying, we're not going to make a wine because we're just not going to release any, so none of the big retailers, none of the big box stores will have any for that year because we don't think the grapes are good enough. You'd be darn sure that's not going to happen. They're just going to put it out and people are going to buy it anyway. So that's one example for an out of stock. Grand Cru's in Burgundy, in Chablis, for example, there's only 23 Premier Cru's, or higher level of vineyards where the grapes come from the Chardonnay grapes, and there's only seven Grand Cru. Grand Cru is a small plot of land. One of the vineyards we have from Mouton de la Jean is the Valmore Vineyard, and other people can make it just besides and use that Grand Cru and call it Chablis Grand Cru. And then behind me, as you can see where my picture is recommending it, here it's an empty bin. That was the Bougros Vineyard, but somebody last week came in and said, that's my favorite Grand Cru, and they bought them all. When will it be back in? Who knows? A Grand Cru is the size of a small lot of land. It's usually the best part of the vineyard, and with other winemakers, there's not a lot to go around. So that's why it's a good thing. I always told servers in a restaurant, okay, a restaurant, when I trained them, they would get so upset if there was a wine that they liked recommending, and then it was out of stock, and for a long time, a Spanish wine. Wine that only made 2,000 cases. Anything under 5,000 cases or 10,000 cases is considered small production. But that was a good thing. I say sell the other 900 wines we have. Give people an opportunity. Give customers. This is great. It's great news because if you have, let's say, a non-vintage champagne, for instance, like this. This is a non-vintage Moutard Perry Fee Father and Son Demi-Sec Champagne. This is my last bottle that I have right now. We don't have any in stock. Okay, but I'm happy about that. Do I have other demi sec semi sweet champagne? Yeah, I do. I do. But the brand names that never run out of stock, that concerns me. First of all, it's got no year. Second of all, you don't know how long or where it comes from, whether it's coming from a distributor, whether it's coming from a warehouse, whether it's coming from the same store you're buying at, or the restaurant. Are they rolling out the same thing five years and ago? And, and, and people say, well, it tastes a little off. Well, maybe, who knows? It's old. You don't know. You don't know what year it comes from. And second of all, a small uh, production winery that doesn't make billions of bottles of champagne that has to be out there and gift sets and packages and all that for the holidays, all those popular brands that are out there, it's good. They'll never run out of stock of that stuff because they make billions of bottles. And any product that you make so many billions and billions and billions and billions of bottles to mass produce, you know that in any form of life, the quality goes down. So it gives you, number one, an opportunity to try different things and not get hooked on one specific brand or vintage, which I always tell you not to do, but even if you drank a specific wine that was out of stock, the odds are when it comes back in stock, it's going to be a different year and be a completely different wine. So you should stop waiting and try something else in the meantime, because your, your brand is going to taste completely different. Every year tastes different on most wine, especially the reds and the whites of a little bit higher quality, not the, the lower end stuff. They can add some sugar and mix it up. So do you understand that I get more worried about wine that are constantly in stock and that are stacked up in mountains in stores high as can be forever and ever and ever and these brands I see everywhere I go how many billions of bucks how good could the quality be on some of these products you know so I always look at a restaurant wine list as an evolution. It's always constantly changing. That's what a sommelier does. We're always at an ABC hour, source and certify wines. Our buyers are traveling the world because we don't just say, imagine the store. We should just have the same brands, the same wine,
lines in every section and just keep carrying them over and over and we should just say stop because people like these brands no we're always building and building and our buyers are searching the world the globe looking for that new wine to add so if one is out of stock it's time to try maybe something new that we brought in that's sourced and certified from the same region or the same flavor profile but I like wines that run out of stock because that means it, it, you know that it's such small production that that, that, that they don't make enough to always be in stock. Maybe we were only allowed an allocation of maybe, you know, 30 cases for the whole company, and that's such a special wine. You've got that wine, but don't expect it to be in stock all year long when there's only 30 cases for 130 some odd story. So look at it as an opportunity, and not a negative that you're out of stock. Say, that must be a really quality wine because they don't make a lot of it, and you're gonna get the fresh vintage coming over on a boat from whatever country it comes from. You follow? Okay, that's why it's a, for, for to look at some of those wines that may be in stock. Our website will tell you information is not available at this time. If you want to order online, you can do that and have it delivered to a local store. Go to abcfws.com or to contact me about any information. If your favorite wine is out of stock, I can make some recommendations. Follow this blog and you'll get uh, an email back from me with many, many ways to follow me. And as I always say, remember, wine is not for snobs. It's for everyday people like you and me, and even people that get worried about when items are out of stock. That's a good thing.